Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> he no. took the fog out of my eyes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I told you you were going to teach. De Deacon right. is least call and Deacon is Roach called it. <laughs> Deacon Roach know she 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 read it. Look, she already got a position. <laughs> 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 you let you let us release part of that minister. <laughs> Thanks, Deacon is Roach. <laughs> release, release him, let him go. <laughs> Carry right, on, go, my... folks. Thank you. I needed that one. Anyway, welcome to Faith Building Bible Study dedicated to teaching the Word of God. Today we will be talking through the scriptures, listening to God's commands, principles patterns and promises to live by. And we're going to do this to defeat the spirit of doubt, discouragement, diversion, delay, and defeat. Today we are doing part two of uh, the study or the lesson title, Jesus, the light of the world. We will be starting at John chapter eight, verse 17 and 18. I'll be reading the King James version first and then the New Living Translation. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. Verse 18, I am one that bear witness of myself and the father that sent me beareth witness of me. The New Living Translation of the same verse. Your own law says that if two people agree about something, their witness is accepted as fact. Mm -hmm. I am one witness. And my father who sent me is the other. Mm. So just a quick recap. Uh, the Jews are having a feast. And at the end of the feast, they light up candles to comm uh, or light lanterns or something that uh, commemorates God leading them by night. And true to Jesus's form, practices, patterns, he uses this as a teaching moment. And mm -hmm. in that teaching moment, he made a statement. And the Jews come back and said, no, that can't be. Let's kill him because he says he's the son of God. But he's saying, Jesus, and which we just read, that in your law, listen, Jesus is like, according to your law that you say you follow, <clears throat> you need two witnesses for something to be true. Mm -hmm. One witness I've just said, and the other witness is my father. So therefore what Jesus said is true. Okay, now that's just a quick recap. Let's get to the notes. The religious okay. leaders did not understand that the father and son lived in each other and were with each other. Listen, mm -hmm. don't try and understand it, just accept it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just believe it, just hold on to it, just trust it, because how can this be? Because, you know, we humans, we, we have a tendency to think just in humanity. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the things of God, we got to learn to be stretched into the spiritual in which God lives. Okay? So just accept it, believe it. Don't try to understand it. Matter of yeah. fact, if you try and understand it, it could take you to the path of these Jewish leaders, which is the wrong path and lead you into sin. Mm -hmm. This is no time to be led into sin. Okay? Right. This, this mm -hmm. world is crazy. Therefore, even though the son came from the father, verse uh, John 8, 14, and was sent by the father, John 8, 16 and 18, he was not separate from the father for the father who sent the son came with him and provided testimony for him amen so that's just saying listen the words that jesus says is true because it has the witness of two people bottom line yes okay right but we also know that god cannot will not ever lie he cannot there you go that so. absolutely so that there you, you have the proof of what God is. You have the two witnesses, 
Yes. And if you know anything about God, like Deaconess Jalice just said, God cannot lie. So when Jesus made the statement, the father's within me, he sent me, I am his son. It was yes. the truth straight from yes. heaven. Yes. Okay. Came right out of the mouth of God. <laughs> Came right out of the mouth of God. Mm-hmm. Okay. His, confir uh, his confirming witness was God himself. Yes. Jesus and the father made two witnesses the number required by the law. Now, now I let's say I go and I vouch for Corey. Okay? Say whatever it is is true. He's what it is. But then imagine having God come and vouch for you. Wow. Okay? God, imagine yeah. having God come and say, whatever this person said is true. Yes. Okay? And that's what God does as we speak his word, as we allow his spirit to be in our lives and we go forth and we become a testimony unto God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we too can experience that. And we have that witness of God, the father, God, the son, God, the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay. So what God cannot and will not lie. He's on. You want to know something? I can't cook. Okay. <laughs> Many of y'all can't fix a car. Okay? True. But God can cook and God can fix a car because he is God. Yes. Amen. Now, Amen. what I'm saying all of that is to say God is able to do all things. Yes. Mm. Okay? And all things well. And all things well. And the one thing he will never do is lie. Yep, okay. the one thing he cannot do and will not and do. And that do is lie. Mm -hmm. Any questions about those two verses? I don't see any hands so, or yeah. questions or comments. All clear. Yeah. Uh, all right, so all good. So let's move on. Verse 19 and 20. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, ye neither know him, nor no, my, me. oh, I'm sorry, ye neither know me, no, me. nor mm -hmm. my father. For if ye had known me, you should have known my father also. Mm -hmm. These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple. And no mm -hmm. man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. New Living Translation of those same two verses. The Jews are asking, now I'm going to put this in some perspective. These are religious teachers. I'm sorry. These are those who should represent God to the people at that time. Yeah. These are people who studied the Old Testament. These are people who knew about God and his promises. But because they were so entrenched in religion, a form, a fashion, a practice that when it, Jesus was there, God's only son, they missed it. And instead, they're asking the question, where is your father? Be careful of being trapped in the physical world we live in and not stretching into the spiritual world God lives in. Mm-hmm. Because you too can miss the fact that the question that they're asking, where is your father? Okay. Now, let me finish reading the verse. Verse 19, where is your father? They asked. Jesus answered, since you don't know who I am, you don't know who my father is. If you knew me, you would also know my father. Verse 20. Jesus made these statements while he was teaching in the section of the temple known as the treasury. But he was not arrested because his time had not yet come. For this past week on this teaching of Jesus, the light of the world, I've been thinking on the things I could not see 
until I received Jesus. And now he gives me light into the spiritual world, which I could not see before. One of the things by accepting Jesus is you get to see his father. Yes. yes. Without Jesus, you cannot see God. You may see the representation of God all around. Okay. But Jesus is the only way to God. Yes. We have to receive his invite. And this is just not a physical sight. This is a spiritual sight that we need so desperately. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Minister Panky. Go ahead. Someone just typed, will prayer heal? I don't know who it was. So okay. I guess they were asking you the question because it just said, will prayer heal when you were speaking? So I Thank don't know you. who typed it. Thank you for bringing that. And here's the answer. Our prayer, and if anybody else wants to chime in, because I believe in meeting the needs of the people where they are. Mm -hmm. So with that question asked, we bring our request unto God. Mm -hmm. And if it is God's will, they will be healed. Mm -hmm. If it, I can't say it's not God's will for all to be healed because God wants us all to have abundant life, to have a, a quality of life, to have that riches of life. And sometimes our sicknesses rob us from that. So when mm -hmm. we pray, we petition God and Lord, we have a need and we bring the need, which shows our first off our faith in him and our mm -hmm. reliance on him. And then we are to step back and say, Lord, your will be done. Yes. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, I'm a few verses ahead and Lazarus, I'm a few chapters ahead in preparing the lesson. So mm -hmm. Lazarus, you got Mary and Martha. I, I think it's uh, chapter 11 or chapter 12. We got the chapter, but it's up to you. I think it's chapter 11 of John. So you got Mary and Martha and Lazarus, all good friends of Jesus. And their brother was sick and he died. I'm sure they called out to God. Not a fact, when he got there, they said, if my if you had been here with my brother, he wouldn't have died. Okay. But some things happen which in that event for God to be glorified. So I can't say that God will hear our prayer and heal everyone. Mm -hmm. But I can say we must practice our faith and bring it to God and uh, and let God know and then step back and say, Lord, your will. I, I got issues in my own household that I continually pray for, and there is no release of healing, but thank God there's no release of death also. Yes. Amen. Because those Amen. things that are going on could bring death right quickly. Amen. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So, so whoever so it was, is, go ahead, Deaconess Jalice. Yeah, whoever it was, just type back again. DC, it said DBC intercessory. After you answer their question with praying hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, so evidently they're receiving what you said. Amen. But getting back to you, I I know it for a fact. Right. Deaconess <laughs> Jalice, thank you. Because I'm, when I, and listen, I, I want to say this now. Mm -hmm. As things come up and you see things on the screen, bring it to my attention. Because I'm so trying to stay focused on the teaching that yeah. I don't necessarily click on the chat. Mm -hmm. And so Deaconess Jalice, thank you. And right. going forward, if anybody else sees a question or something, please bring it to my attention. Yeah, because they're typing it across my screen. That's right. how I have to see it. Right. And I don't. I didn't see it. No. Yes, sometimes you gotta have the chat open. Well, my no, chat it, is. Okay. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't see it in the chat either. Oh, so maybe Deacon is Jalice. You're just special. I guess so. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> But, God but, is trying to use me today <laughs> <laughs> because my chat says four. There are four people on chat, and I oh, never touched it. Okay, so that's how I'm seeing that they're, they're typing. They're not speaking, but they're typing. Right. So I said, well, I'm supposed to, you know, so they get their answer. Yeah, please. And yeah, but now I'm challenged to learn how to keep the chat open while I teach. I have no clue. I have no clue either, but I gotta learn. I just popped up and said, "Chat four people." Okay. So I don't, and then I can see them. They type, and after you answer the question, they type back 
with praying hands. So I'm assuming you let them know to pray. That's it. Yeah. Uh, and you want to, as, as we move on in life, okay, the, um, mm -hmm. we must practice our faith. That's what it yeah. comes down to. Yeah. I, I, I heard a, a, a minute, a preacher minister actually was, um, a pastor say faith releasers. Mm. You have, you have, the different events that you encounter are can be used as a faith, your faith to be released unto God. Mm -hmm. Okay, to practice and to to show that you know of God, you accept God, and you trust Him. Yes. Okay, and that's what we need today. Because listen, if you ain't trusting God, who are you trusting? That's exactly. right. Yeah. Okay, and if you're trusting yourself, I got news for you. <laughs> You're not all knowing and not all powerful. Okay. okay? And you yes, will fall so. in the same trap of these Jewish religious leaders and all yes. of those who are constantly trying to trick up Jesus. Yes. You know yes. what yes. they yes. say, Mr. Yes. Bacon? Yes. Any lawyer that represents himself have a fool for a client. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we can't really rely on our own selves. We need no. Jesus. Yes. Corey, yeah. you had something to say, sir? No, I was just saying the person who trusts in himself will will utterly fail. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's see what these two verses are enlightening us. First off, in asking to see his father, the leaders might as well have been saying Bring on the other witness. We wish to question him. <laughs> okay? You, you know, in this Christian walk, there is to be, you are to rise to a level of maturity. Mm -hmm. In this Christian walk, you are to rise to a level of acceptance of God. Mm. If you stay an immature Christian, you are not following what God wants you to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other words, we may start off as a baby, which is fine, but we're not to stay there. We're not to stay in our selfish indulgence. We're not to stay in our, everything is centered around me. Because that's what we are. We start off like that. But we are to grow and to become mature. And I got news for you. Our maturity level never stops as we mm -hmm. are a member of the body of Christ connected to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Minister, oh, thank you. Go ahead, sir. Just asking, them just asking that question um, to me says it all. You know, it, 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 it encapsulate, you know, exactly where they were at you know, um, mentally, um, it speaks about the, the challenge that that they had within themselves, you know, being physically there and, and thinking, okay, you know, you know, you're going to see someone physically, you know, show up, you know, where's your father, you know, where is he? Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Corey. And it makes me think, these Jewish religious leaders who know God is a spirit and led them by his spirit are looking for God in the physical. Yeah. God, listen, we may see representations of him, but God is a spirit. Yes, yes. And we got to get to where he is through his son, Jesus Christ, and only through Jesus Christ. Amen. And Corey, you're right. This reveals exactly where those people were mentally mm -hmm. with their thinking and i got a question for everyone today where is your thinking wow <laughs> is your thinking in line with these supposed religious leaders who are to lead the people or is your thinking in in, in agreement with the lord jesus christ mm. Mm -hmm. mm. okay and before we answer well actually don't answer but think and i'm just <laughs> answering for myself Far too often, I'm caught on the side of the religious leaders because I'm only thinking according to the physical world that we live in. 
Mm-hmm. And I have to discipline myself and stretch myself into God's realm and just accept what he is saying. Right. Amen. Amen. If his mm-hmm. father was the other witness, then where was he? They're still mm-hmm. in this. Now, here's the thing. They're asking Jesus for all of this. Okay. But they're mm-hmm. actually just, they want to find something just so they can kill him. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're looking for a reason. They're looking for a reason. They're, they're looking mm-hmm. for some kind of rationale. Yeah. Okay? These people don't care really what he's saying. They're just trying to trick him up. There are people around you that really don't care what you're saying. They're just trying to trick you up. And the enemy behind it all is trying to trick up us Christians to doubt the word of God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay? We know that because these were the religious leaders. And remember when they sent people to arrest him and the people came back and we can't arrest him. He speaks like no other. (laughs) Okay. Mm -hmm. In their very presence, Jesus affirmed that they knew neither him nor his father. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now here on this earth, you can get away with not knowing Jesus and God. But the day your body dies, Mm. okay, the day breath leaves that body, that'll be the time you wish you would have got to know him when breath was in this body, because Jesus is the only way to pass from this world into God's kingdom. And if you don't know him, you're not going into his kingdom. True. (laughs) Okay. Mm -hmm. Their willingness to know him when he was among them, also kept them from knowing the father who was just as truly among them. In other words, when Jesus was there, his father was there too. As the Bible is here, Jesus is here, so is his father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's remember that. Yeah. Okay? Yes. A little bit more in verse 19 and 20. Jesus had already told them that his father was with him but their question showed that they did not know the son or the father. For if you know me, then you would know my father too. In other words, because we Christians have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and know him personally, don't worry, you also know God personally. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you also know the spirit of the living God. Okay. It's not like, okay, I got Jesus and my Lord and Savior. Now I got to work on getting to know God. Don't work that mm. way. Amen. Amen. Because I think what they were doing, Minister Pank, was looking for God in the physical being. Yes, absolutely. And, right. and, and, and as I, listen, let me put it to you. You may get to know me. You get to know me, Minister Panky, mm-hmm. Herbert Panky, whatever you, you call me. Okay. Minister Panky. Thank you. So you only get to know me. And that's the way we humans operate. But with God, it's totally different. Yeah. Right. And they didn't know the difference. (laughs) Actually, they didn't want to receive the difference. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And their Mm -hmm. actions showed that they didn't know the difference because Mm -hmm. they didn't want to receive it. Right. Okay. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Packy, and you know, as we as we're talking and just discussing it, you know, you we you, thinking about you know, like folks who um who want to be spiritual, right? Um yes. and they and they, you know, they're spiritual, you know, they're unsafe, but they want to be spiritual and they're saying, you know, yeah, I wanna know, I wanna know God's will for, for my life, you know, and, and you bring up Jesus. You know, and and their their response is, yeah, yeah, Jesus, yeah, Jesus is, yeah, that's that's fine. But I'm talking, I'm talking God, God's will. Yes. You know, yes. you know, you know this. How? Why would you think? And this bears it out even so. Why would you think they're they're separate? You know, they're right. they're one they're one in the same. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and thank you, Corey, because you just made me think. This is a teaching that's needed today because you hear a lot of people, I just want to be spiritual. Oh, I just want to tap into the spirit. I just want to get to know God. Well, the only way you get to know God is to get to know Jesus. And the two are into, they're in each other. 
Yes. Intertwined. Yeah, intertwined. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is a lesson that's needed today because so many people are saying they want to get to know God, but forget Jesus. You that can't do it that way. And mm -hmm. let me say this. That is a lie from the pit of Satan to keep people mm -hmm. from getting truly to God by rejecting Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yes. When Jesus speaks, the father speaks. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the bottom line. Okay. To us in our humanity, we can say, how can this be? Mm -hmm. To us in our connection, our relationship with Jesus this is how it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this was completely lost on these religious leaders. I got news for you. Sometimes it can be lost on us because we're so busy trying to take the things of God, mm -hmm. put it in this physical world and identify and see everything of God just through the physical world we live in. Can't mm. do it. Cannot be done. You have to let go of this physical world and get into the spiritual world of God. That's how this is done. Okay? So it's like no comparison, right? No comparison. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, stop trying to compare. Now, mm -hmm. our, our minds want to go in comparison. Okay? But we got to mm -hmm. stop that. Okay. So with that, we've done part two, Jesus, the light of the world. And he used um, the he used the ceremony of lights to let people know he's the light. He enlightened. He enlightened spiritually. Okay, mm -hmm. he helps us to see what we could not see before. And the Jewish leaders came up with this question, and Jesus went right back at them and said, "If you know my, if you know me, you know my Father. You know my Father. You know me." Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let that settle within yourselves uh, as the main one of the main teachings from this part of the lesson. Just and with that said, we have come to the end of Jesus, the light of the world. Just give me a minute to. Okay. This is a rarity that we actually get to do two lessons in one because we probably usually spend so much time on one. And mm -hmm. we never get to the second one. But the arm believing people warned. Okay. John chapter 8, verse 21 to 30. And Jesus, you know, thank God for Jesus in dealing with us human beings. Because mm. he's constantly striving and dealing in different areas as examples to get us to understand that we need him okay mm -hmm. and he's striving hard and some of some 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 of the people when he lived back then some got it some didn't okay but thank god he is so good that when you don't get it he tells you what the consequences will be mm -hmm. and this is just from my own experience you know satan he doesn't tell he just tells you come on you'll have fun come on uh, do it. Come on, disobey God. Come on, do it. The, you deserve it. You're tired. You've been doing this. This is all the strategy of Satan. He only tells you the good, but he doesn't tell you the, the what will come about for disobeying God. The consequences. The consequences. <laughs> Satan does doesn't deal you. with the, con doesn't tell you the consequences. Exactly. Okay. He tells you, go ahead and do it. He tells you, you know, you want to do it. He tells you, you'll have fun. He tells you a lot of things, but he won't tell you if you continue down that path, you'll die and you'll go to hell. Right. And that's where God steps in and tells us the absolute truth. Mm -hmm. okay? So mm -hmm. with all of that said, John chapter eight, verse 21 and 22, and we'll see how far we get with this lesson. Then Jesus said, uh, then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whether I go, ye cannot come. Verse 22. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? 
because he saith, whither I go, ye cannot come. New Living Translation, but verse 21 and 22. Later, Jesus said to them again, I am going away. You will search for me, but will die in your sin. Ye mm. cannot come where I am. Verse 22. The people asked, is he planning to commit suicide? What <laughs> does he mean? You cannot come where I am going. Now, Jesus talks to, has conversation with everybody. And the main point of those conversations, the woman at the well, okay, mm -hmm. stretching her into the spirit so she don't die and go to hell. The Many of the people who were healed was an example of Jesus' power to stretch them into the spirit and to accept him as Lord and Savior so they won't die and go to hell. But these religious leaders constantly put up a, a, a resistance of the truth. And here comes Jesus telling them right out what's going to happen. Speaking again to the Jewish religious leaders, Jesus declared, you will search for me and die in your sin. We mm. just talked about people being spiritual. They're searching for Jesus, but they will die in their sin. How sad is that? Here he's speaking to the religious yeah. leaders, but yeah. Jesus is actually speaking to everyone who was alive then and now. Okay? Yes. Listen, mm -hmm. this is what's going to happen to you because you reject me. No, because you don't have an open mind to receive me. Wow. We're talking about people who are spiritual and somewhere in that spiritual, they have set up their mind to reject Jesus, but yet to try and seek God. They will die in their sins, striving mm -hmm. to look for God. How sad is that? Yeah. It is, especially when he's right there. He's right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you wanted to thank you because that brought to mind. As much as Jesus was in the presence of the people right there in mm -hmm. physical form, yes. I can confidently say Jesus is right here, right now on this earth through through his people. Yes. Through those that. who have accepted him as Lord and Savior. And we are giving the invite to people and they are reject because who are you? You're not Jesus. But his, yeah. they're neglecting the fact that his spirit lives within me. Mm -hmm. How sad is that? Yeah. True. If the Jewish religious leaders would not believe in Jesus while he was with them, they would run the risk of not having any further opportunity to receive eternal mm -hmm. life. My, my. Yeah. Jesus predicted that they would continue to look for the for a Messiah, though the real one had already been among them. Mm. I, I keep saying mm. the same thing over and over. How sad is that to be looking? Yeah. How 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 anybody ever lose your keys? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, let me back up. Anybody ever lose your eyeglasses? All the time. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> and it's right on top of your head. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Yes. <laughs> only to find them on the top of your head. How, sad, <laughs> or, how much time or, or, or did on you your lose? Face. <laughs> or on your face. <laughs> or on your face. <laughs> now, I'm making light of it, that but by good. the response, it's true. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Okay. And, and how much time did you waste? How much aggravation did you go through? How much uh, frustration did you go through? And you're looking for this and you can't find it. And it's right there all the time. And it's the best yeah. thing for you because it's going to help you to see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, the same thing is with Jesus. He's right here right now. But because people have a closed mind or a fixed mind 
are refusing to open their mind, they <laughs> cannot receive what's right there in front of their face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. The leader's fatal sin would be in rejecting the only one who could save them. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Now That's that is a, sad. <laughs> that, that is sad. Mm -hmm. Okay. People are, listen, people are looking for, today's world, people are looking for hope. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what people are doing is placing hope in 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 other people, in their uh, richness, because you know money is not only thing you can be rich. You can be rich in your abilities. Mm -hmm. You can be rich in having a lot of friends. Okay, so whatever you can be rich in, have more than enough. Yeah. But that is where you're trying to find your hope, and it cannot, will not. Fill that 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 need that we all have. Yeah. You know, and Minister Packett. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, and Minister Packett, it's you know you, you you look you look at you know ourselves you know among among these religious um, leaders or or people, you know, and you can think you know what a what a harsh reality, you know what I mean? But God is is so gracious that. This is this is his revealing to them. He's revealing his self to them. Mm -hmm. And yes. yet still, yet still you you know you reject. And so is people today that, that the spirit you know draws you, the spirit reveals it's revealing itself to you, and mm -hmm. yet you you reject. Yes. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> and, and it's real. Mm -hmm. This is real. Jesus. Um, enlightening people to see the need for him is real. <laughs> Somebody had something to say, Dr. Janice? It sound like you? Okay. So the, the one thing that the Pharisees kept bringing up is that they kept questioning who Jesus is. Yeah. The one thing that's going around in the world today is the question of who Jesus is. Mm. And the one thing that Satan constantly used, I'll get them to, be, I'll allow them, I'll deceive them into believing and searching for God. But the one thing Satan hates is when people start believing in Jesus to get to God. And that's yeah. why we have such a fight in the spiritual world. Once we strive to get there, this, listen, <laughs> Satan knows, and he's fighting all that he can to keep us from getting in God and then to get us stronger in God. That's where the fight comes from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything that is true. Anything yes, that is anything true. that is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything. So be on God, saints. Put your armor on. Okay. Yeah. Be ready for yes. the fight. <clears throat> yes. Uh, yeah. Let's see if there's a little bit more in verse 21 and 22. His mm -hmm. statement, you cannot come where I am going. You know, I, I got to draw this comparison. Back in the garden, when Satan was speaking to Eve, he only brought up the good points and the points that uh, Eve um, was enticed to do. Hmm. He did not bring up the fact that they would be thrown out of the garden. Oh. <laughs> Satan did, did not bring up the fact that now where they lived in paradise, now you're going to live outside of paradise. Wow. He didn't show the consequences. Right. He did not <laughs> reveal the consequences. <laughs> One of the things I'm striving hard in this lesson is thank God he tells us the complete picture, which is the yeah. complete truth, which is the consequences that come for rejecting Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. And there are consequences. Just because you may have lived 30, 40, 50, 60 years on this earth and rejected mm -hmm. him and still did okay or may not did okay, there are consequences. And the yes. day you die is the day you realize those consequences. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> go ahead. 
Okay, so to piggyback with Corey, I, I brought it up some time ago with these spiritual people. And um, I had a discussion with my cousin yesterday. She's a Christian. But I think she's a far, what would I say? She's a far left. She's gone. I mean, I, I had to ask her if she's involved in a cult now because her thinking is way up. You know, she told me yesterday that the rapture is coming, Jason. It's coming at 11.55 a.m. <laughs> yeah, look to the northern sky. <laughs> so I, so <laughs> <laughs> she okay. must have a crystal ball. <laughs> So uh, I texted her at 12.07. I said, well, it didn't happen. Because what, what's happening? <laughs> She's listening to some of these quacks on YouTube. No disrespect to some, but, you know, they're, they're like false prophets then, to me. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they, are. they are. They are. Yep, yeah. a lot of uh, them. <laughs> next week, there's going to be three days of darkness. You got to be prepared. So I'm saying to our... You know, we have to be prepared in general because we don't know when, nobody knows when God is coming. Correct. So you right. can listen to these, these people on YouTube and, you know, and I said, Maxan, you've been, you've been a Christian from, from teenage days. You should know better. Why are you listening to mm -hmm. these people? You know, but so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking now that maybe sometime they get caught up with these spiritual people. And mm -hmm. then, then spiritual people are leading them away from from Christ. Because you know the enemy works in different ways. Oh, you know? without a doubt. So it's it's you know the enemy can use what we want. You know, so I, I, I was saying to our you just gotta be prepared. You know, we don't know when he's coming. He could come right now. You know, mm -hmm. but stop watching these quacks on YouTube and these people who said they are um self-appointed apostles and self-appointed you know <laughs> the point i'm trying to make i'm sorry is that so these spiritual people who don't know any better then and they get caught up in the social media mm -hmm. i mean they're gonna be forever lost you know if, if they don't um get the truth because it's a lot of it's a lot of lies being spread out there right now and that's yeah. the and uh, and Jason, thank you for that. That that starts in conversation, which we really can't end here. But I'm gonna say this: people are being bombarded with the mm -hmm. lies and deception of Satan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I mean bombarded, you have people who look all good speaking stuff. Oh, I should believe them. And then you got social yeah. media and people who are coming with all different areas. And then you find about 5, 10, 20, 25 people all speaking the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. And yeah. then you got the fact that this is appealing because remember, we still have that sinful nature living within us. <laughs> so we got all of the above yeah. working to deceive people and not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And that is why we need the Bible to be taught and preached the way God intended without perversion. Yes. Because otherwise yeah. those, listen, it's very easy to be deceived. I, I could be deceived. And yeah. at times I was deceived and got drawn out on the wrong path. Yeah. yeah. But thank God for the spirit of God drawing me back out of the deception. Man, man, man. Okay. So we don't look down on people who get deceived or drawn out or know Christ and then doing these other things, but we pray for them. Mm -hmm. Because, listen, they're, they're before the grace of God goes I. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things. And they may not entice you, but man, I tell you, there's some things that are enticing me. Yeah. Real yeah. talk. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's real. That's real. Yeah. real talk. And if it wasn't for Jesus telling me the complete truth, I may fall for the enticement. Mm. Yeah. Because I, real the talk. one thing I hold on to is when I die, I'm not going to hell. I'm going to heaven. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, all in agreement with the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, okay. What so that was good. Thank man. you. Because we needed to bring out all of those different aspects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, his statement, you cannot come where I am going, refers to his death and return to the Father. The religious leaders could not follow him there. The opportunity to speak with Jesus was limited. Soon he would leave them, having been rejected by them. You know, we only get a certain window to receive his invite. Yeah. Those sure. who reject Jesus would die without having their sins forgiven and would therefore literally not be able to go where Jesus would be. These people think they're going to get into heaven and they're not. Amen. They surmise that he must be speaking about committing suicide. Once again, they're revealing that they're only thinking of this physical world and that mm -hmm. consumes them. It's dangerous. Yep. Instead of responding to their uh, tentative interpretate, yeah, th interpretation, Jesus explained why they were unable to comprehend his statement. Okay? And we got to mm -hmm. stop. So next week, next week we will pick this up from John chapter 8, verse 23. Okay, the unbelieving people warn. And if I can't think of a, a study, a scripture mm. text that is well needed today to warn the people of what Jesus has said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, with that, any questions or comments? I will